Welcome back to Blueprint DIY. Today I wanted to do a tag. This is my very first tag and I was watching some other YouTubers and more specifically thrifters who are doing this tag. This tag is called the Nifty Thrifty Tag and it was created by a YouTuber named Killer Hair, I believe. I just thought it was a really cool tag. So um, let's get right into it. Um, like I said, it's called the Nifty Thrifty Tag and the first question is what is the most expensive thing you've thrifted um consequently the most thrift the most expensive thing that i have thrifted um would be from the last video these kenneco boots um and like i said in that video they were 39.99 the price tag was 39.99 However, it was 50% off day, so I got them for $20. I don't normally spend $20 on one item at a thrift store. And the next question is, what is the least expensive thing that you have thrifted? And for this one, this is the really cool thing about Houston. We have thrift outlets. And the thrift outlets start from Thursday is their most expensive day. They just upgraded the price or up the price to two dollars. It used to be a dollar seventy five, but you know it's two dollars now on Thursday, and it goes all the way down to a quarter on Wednesdays. So I would say the cheapest thing that I've ever thrifted, of course, is when I go to quarter day. And what I use the outlet for most often. It's going to be something that I use in D in a DIY project. So I'm going to show you guys um, again my lace shorts. And I got though this used to be a lace t-shirt that I turned to shorts. I'll link the video on how I made these down below. And I got these from the outlet. And they were, um, I believe I went on 50 cent day. So they were 50 cents. And then this one was just a t-shirt and I added the faux leather letters to it. And I really like this t-shirt and I got it because I liked it and I knew I wanted to do something to it. So it's actually one of my favorite t-shirts right now. And the third question is the favorite, your favorite thing that you have thrifted. My favorite thing, I have two things. Uh, one of my favorite things is this necklace. I had, I thrifted this recently. I believe it I was with my mom and I believe it was like seven dollars but I just I just I like it I like this necklace a lot and my second thing my second thing one my favorite one of my favorite purchases is this jacket and it has the leather sleeves and I'll lift it up it's kind of long I'll try it on for you guys but this is one of my favorite purchases and I got it one day at a Goodwill and I went into the Goodwill and I always check their jacket section I'm obsessed with like um, blazers and jackets even though I only get to wear them for like maybe two months here but I really 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 like jackets so I went into that section and I saw this and it in the jacket section, you don't know at our Goodwill, you don't know how much things are. So I took it up to the front. I thought they were going to say something crazy. And she said $12.99. And I was just like, okay, I'll take it. And I looked it up online and this the brand is Mason. And this brand is, um, you know, like $300, $400. So, um, so also one of my um, best deals that I've thrifted. Then your most regretted purchase. For this one, a lot of YouTubers said, you know, they said, oh, I didn't, I don't re regret anything. I do regret. I, I, in the past, I have purchased, because we have an outlet and things are a quarter or 50 cents, I have bought things that I shouldn't have bought. I have bought, especially jeans. I don't know what it is, but I just think that I'm gonna find the perfect fit jeans. And every time I used to go, I would get, you know, a couple pair of jeans. And at the outlet, of course, you 
you know, when I first started going, I didn't wear leggings, so I couldn't just slip them on to see if they fit. Then I would get home and they would look horrible. So I have a pile of jeans that I cannot wear. And so I will either, well, no, I, sometimes, a lot of times I'll just re-donate that uh, stuff. But um, with my jeans, I'm going to do something with it that I'll have a DIY um, in the future that I'm going to do, you know, just show you guys how to do stuff with different jean materials. Like if you cut off your jeans, what to do with the rest of the leg. So we're going to, I'm going to do a couple of videos on that. But that is my most those are my most regretted purchases the things that are just super super cheap i know i can get them for cheap and i just throw them in the cart and they don't fit so i have gotten better i've gotten a lot better when i go to the thrift store and if i don't really like something i'm doing a better job at leaving it there so let's see what is your favorite thrift store my favorite thrift store in houston is the family thrift store in by Willowbrook. My favorite thrift store in Chicago is Savers in Orland. And my favorite thrift store in Cincinnati is the Big Goodwill on Reading Road. I think it's on Reading Road. I think that's Reading Road. So those are my favorite thrift stores in the three places that I thrift most often. Now, let's see. Um, the next question is, what is the weirdest thing you've thrifted? It. I don't get weird things very often. I'm sorry to disappoint in this area. Um, I, I, I'm sure like after I say this, my sister is going to say, you know, watch the video and say, remember, you know, such and such that you got. So I, I just can't think of anything. So I'm going to show you the weirdest thing that I can think of. And I think it's really cute. I don't think it's so weird. But it is this owl mug. And I thought it was so mid-century modern. I'm That's what I felt about it. And so I got it. And I do not use it. It sits on the... <laughs> It sits on the shelf. So, um, I liked it, so I got it. So, um, that's about as weird as my thrift purchases get. But, like I said, I'll probably remember something after this that's just super weird. Okay, let's see what the next question is. Your most worn thrifty item. What is my most worn thrifty item? And I will show you guys... One of my most worn thrifted items is this gold watch and this this gold bangle here. And this is a combination. I, I throw on this combination um, often, very often. And so I will say that that's one of my most worn items. And the other one is these boots here. And I purchased these boots at my favorite thrift store here in Houston. And I believe they're from they're from Target. Um, they're a Mosimo Mosimo brand, but um, they were cheap, and I really like them. Then and they were pretty much brand new when I got them. So I wear them out. I wear them out. All right. Next question is. What is your favorite thrift experience? So, my fa my favorite thrift experience is when I was thrifting in Chicago. We were at a unique thrift store in Markham, Illinois. And I was with my sisters and I saw these. Well, I saw one of these. And I tried it on. I was just like, oh, I really like them. I really like them. And it was a 50% off day. And I told my sister, I was like, oh, aren't these cute? And she was like, oh, yeah, they're super cute. And so we, I put it in the cart. We went all around the shoe aisles looking to see if we could find it. And we didn't see it. And then all of a sudden, we looked kind of to the back of the store. And there was this guy trying the other one on. And this shoe, this shoe is an eight and a half. So I know it's a woman's shoe. It says eight and a half, so I know it's a woman's shoe. But it, I mean, you know, I could, 
I guess it could go both ways. So it was a guy trying it on and so I saw him and so my sister said, okay, just cover it up, cover, cover it up in your cart. It was sitting at the top. She said, cover it up in your cart and we'll um, just wait, you know, wait till he leaves. And so it was kind of sad, but we could see him. I put it in my cart first, I'm sure, but we could see him looking around for the other shoe and we just waited and <laughs> waited. And so an older lady said, hey, you know, like, what are you waiting for? Or, you know, like, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for this other shoe that that guy over there has it. So she said, hold on a minute. So we were in one aisle, she was in the next aisle. We couldn't see, see her. And so she went over to the next aisle where the guy was. And all of a sudden the shoe comes flying over the, the aisle. And she's like, here you go. And I'm like, thank you. I don't know what she did to the guy. You know, or if the guy just put the shoe down and she grabbed it like right after he put I don't know what happened. But all I know is I got the shoes and I was super excited. So sorry, guy who was looking for that shoe. Um, but I wear these shoes out as well. These are um, actually, I should have put that as most worn because um, I wear them out. Matter of fact, I couldn't even show you guys really up close because they're filthy. But um, yes, that is my favorite thrift experience. Funniest thrift experience. Now, let's see. What is my best thrift deal? My best thrift deal. Let me tell you guys, I was at the outlet and we have a smaller outlet and then we have a large outlet. There's a really, really large outlet and they have the same rules, $2 on Thursdays, all the way down to 25 cents on Wednesdays. Me and my mom went on a 50 cents day, which is a, a Tuesday. We went on a Tuesday. And we were walking around the aisles and we were on separate separate parts of the store. And so um, I walked past this one aisle and I saw these riding pants, equestrian horse riding pants. Le uh, leather or suede knee patches and tag still on. They were kid size. So I looked and I thought to myself, like, you know, I could probably go on eBay and sell those. But I'm like, nah, knowing my luck, you know, I, I don't know. I, it would just be a bust. I would end up with all of these pants and, you know, wouldn't be able to sell them. So my phone and my purse were over by my mom. So I went to my um, over by my mom, got my phone, and looked them up on eBay and saw that they were going for... You know, horse riding pants are expensive, and especially kid sizes, you know, that may be harder to find. They're expensive. So, and people were actually buying them on eBay. And so I ended up buying over 30 pairs of horse riding pants, child size. There were some adult sizes, but over 30 pair tags on. And I was able to sell every last pair. And I spent at the thrift store, I spent a little over $15. And I made like over $400. So that is, I didn't forget the question. What was, oh, my best thrift deal. That was the best deal that I have ever gotten. And I'm looking for another one of those very soon. Um, next question is, what is your longest owned thrift item? This one was really hard for me because I recently just got rid of a bunch of stuff because I'm trying to let go of the fact that I am no longer a size four. I am letting go of that fact. You know, I'm trying to get back down to another size, but I am no longer a size four and I'm letting go of that fact. And I just got rid of a lot of stuff. So probably my most owned item I just got rid of, but I will show you guys one of the items that I still have and it is it has something on it but it is kind of a brush cotton uh velvet filling type material and it is just like this gorgeous pink color and i really like it and actually it fit me like a boyfriend jacket it fits so, not so much like a boyfriend jacket anymore, but it, you know, it's still, it's still loose on me, but I really like this jacket. And in my two months of winter, I do wear it still. So that's probably one of the oldest things that I've purchased. And that's, that's really what got me hooked on the outlet is because I was finding so many like, um, camel color, uh, 
corduroy blazers and just blazers 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 boy i mean you could find boyfriend blazers for days at the outlet so that's really what got me hooked on going to the outlet anyway last question because i'm rambling what is your favorite favorite thrifted fashion trend my favorite thrifted fashion trend is pendant earrings i love pendant earrings and so my thrifty earrings i'll show you guys a picture of my collection but i have on some today that i really like and these are like almost like a sunburst or half moon or something um earring and i really like these so that's my favorite thrifted fashion trend right now that I've been thrifting and I look every time I go you guys saw in my last haul video I purchased some like pearl looking ones so that's my favorite fashion trend to thrift right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up rate subscribe share and I will talk to you guys next time bye mm -hmm.